Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the review on the Dior Rouge Precious Rocks lipsticks. They are in a kit and they come in this really cute kit like this. And before I get started, the biggest reason I bought this kit was because I saw Maria Dragonova. I'll link her channel below. I love her. She's so gorgeous and so beautiful. She did a DIY on this kit and she made it into a belt bag or bum bag and so I just fell in love. So I really wanted to do that and I was in the market for more lipsticks. So inside is a mirror and it comes with six different lipsticks. It comes with a big one right here, a big size one, a refillable one, and then all these little small ones that you can take out the big one. Right now it has matte in it, so it's like this. And you just pull it off like that. And then it turns into, you get a smaller one. Then you just change the cap. And take off the bottom and then stick it into the top like this. And then take this beautiful lipstick with you or if you are just wanting to go out with a small little lipstick and carry a small little bag, then you could just carry this lipstick. And then it has a little CD. But yeah, you can just carry this little baby lipstick with you. So anyways, I am doing, I am not a makeup artist. I'm just a regular person that loves makeup and I figured this might be more relatable. I know a lot of the girls are makeup artists, but I really love makeup and so I wanted to do it a little bit differently instead of just swatching it and then that's it. My review would be me uh, wearing it every day and then giving you an update and then letting you know how it turned out at the end of the day. So if you like videos like this, then keep on watching. And also, if you want to see how I change this little bag into a bum bag, then fast forward to the end and you can see how I turned this into a bum bag. I did it exactly how Maria said to do it. And then also you can see some modeling shots. Keep on watching and you'll see my review. Good morning. Okay, so I chose right now in the lipstick is this one. It's like a really it's like a red but i'm not in a red mood so i'm gonna change it out i think i'm gonna use this color i think it's perfect for like fall so beautiful now this is the dior rouge precious rocks so here's a swatch of it It's a very smooth. This is, looks like it's um has some like glitter. It's kind of like a caramel color. Anyways, here's the color. I thought it was more caramel. It's kind of more like a red, more like a red, a brownish red tone. So uh, we'll see how this wears throughout the day. It's not. It's a glossy lipstick. But it has pretty good pigmentation and it's glossy. I'm gonna see how it wears throughout the day and I'll be back and let you know how it goes and how often I have to apply. Good morning. So yesterday I forgot to tell you guys how the other lipstick held on. It was really nice. Um, it held on very nicely all through the mall and also when I was drinking tea. It's a very like creamy, kind of moisturizing lipstick. However, the only downfall about that lipstick was that it was sh too shiny for my taste and also it had like a almost like a metallic shimmer to it and I feel like it's not really nice for daily use but definitely for like a party or a Christmas party or something late at night for me personally. So that was nice. Today I'm going to do Rouge Dior 772 in Classic Matte and let me show you what it looks like. So it's like this um, it's kind of, hi! hi! It's like this uh, nice mo mauve matte color. It's very very matte. So. Here's a swatch of it. I get concerned about when they say matte because I don't really like the way matte lipsticks feel on my lips. There it was pretty drying. So let's see how this goes. So here it is. Here is classic matte. And actually, it's actually very creamy. 
and not very drying drying at all so it looks a little bit more red on my skin tone and my lips not really red but kind of a muted red a little bit uh, I thought it would be a little bit more nude however which I really like nudes but I am really liking this a lot so right now it's about 12 ish I know I'm a little late on getting ready so I'm gonna wear it until as long as it lasts and I'll let you know when I have to reapply it so and I drink and eat like throughout the day all the time so um, but really liking it it went on really smoothly and it's not drying at all so I like it so it is the end of the day and I just finished eating my lips are have still a little bit of color but um, it lasted really well throughout the whole day. However, it ended up being drying on my lips. And I don't know if that's whether it's like the climate here because it's so dry in Colorado. But I mean, I kind of predicted that the matte lipstick would be drying on my lips and it was. But the color was really, I liked the color and it lasted a long time. So that was like a, it was an okay one for me because I don't like drying lipstick, but it was pretty. Good morning. I am using the... 414 St. Germain. It's in this, um, I love how there's like that Dior right there. It's in this, it looks more nude on the lipstick. So here's a swatch. But then when you swatch it and put it on your lips, I feel like it looks more pink. I don't know. I'm just more of a nude fan. This one comes off a little, it's not as matte but it's not as shiny, so it's in between, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my favorite one. And it's quite, you know, neutral, unlike uh, the other ones were a little bit more bold for me. But so far, um, I am liking all of them. Uh, yesterday's one was a bit drying, but, you know, it's not that bad, so this is nice. I like this one a lot, so. Good morning, so I'm in a different location. I thought the lighting might be better here. So today I am using Mysterious Matte. Oh, actually before I start that, I just wanted to say that yesterday's, I didn't check in yesterday, um, or did I? I'm not sure. But anyways, my the yesterday's lipstick was my absolute favorite. That's more my cup of tea with the like nude colors. Today was a little bit more bold for me again, but I need to get used to it. So today I'm using the Mysterious Matte. Okay, so the color looks like this. It's, I think it's called Mysterious Matte because they call it matte and it looks matte on the lipstick, but it doesn't feel matte on my lips. So uh, this is like a very true berry color and it's coming off as a berry kind of red color, but when you look at it, it looks Here's a swatch. This one's very, very creamy compared to the other one. I really like this one a lot too, but uh, this might be second place, we'll see. So I'll update you. Today I'm gonna go visit our office here in Denver and maybe I'll give you a sneak peek. Actually, no, I won't give you a sneak peek. I'll show you my vlog, so go watch the vlogs. I just got back from the office. It's almost the end of the day. Um, the lipstick, I've got months. <laughs> the lipstick I got many compliments for it, but to me, I just have to get used to having bold lipsticks. But the way that I really like to wear it is just adding a little dab, like down there, and adding a little tint. But yeah, I changed my outfit um, because I went into the office and... Um, yeah, I like this a lot. Just a dab, a tint, more so than full on lipstick, but I did get a lot of compliments for this. So it was a little bit dry, as usual, um, but I really like it like this. Just a hint of color. So this is definitely a win for me. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. So I thought I wasn't gonna like this one. This is the Distinct Matte. 810. It is a brown color. Um, I thought it was going to be a brownish purple, but on my lips it's like a brownish maroon color. This is probably my second favorite. I really like this a lot. I thought I wouldn't, so it was very unexpected. Unexpected. This is very creamy and I like this one a lot. It is nearing the end of the day 
and I just want to say that that rhymes. No, it's end of the day, and I just want to say that I love this lipstick a lot. I feel like it matches my hair and my sweater and my skin tone. Um, I really didn't expect to like this, but I like it. And right now I'm wearing it a little bit lighter application, not as heavy, not as many layers. And um, this is a win for me. Creamy and beautiful. And hey, hey JT, look at him. Oh, look at him in his suit. How handsome. Okay, I'm <laughs> distracted. So I'm heading to a meeting at school, at my kid's school. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so today I'm wearing the matte lipstick. It's the red one out of the Precious Rocks collection and it's in the original container. All the other ones you can interchange and put it into here. I'll show you in one of the clips. And um, I really like this one. This one's like a red kind of orange and it, that's like a true red kind of in the background a little bit. And so it's like a reddish orange. It looks like this. Let's see if it'll focus, focus. There we go. And um, I'm going to wear it all day. It's Friday, so it's the perfect time to be wearing a red lipstick. And I will let you know it's, how it goes. It's, Here's the swatch. You wanna go eat? Eat? So it is the end of the day. I really like this red lipstick. This is just a little bit like with a tint. I just dabbed it on. We're getting ready to go eat, go out to eat it. We're getting ready to go out to eat to, oh dear, that's hard to say. We're going out to eat, um, to go eat dinner. And so I don't want to reapply like a dark lip right now because it's just going to, we're going to go eat some Asian food and I want to dig in. So yeah, and sometimes I just like to wear lipstick like this. I'm waiting for my Dior bag to come back from the cobbler um, as a belt bag. However, they did charge me a lot. Not happy about that, but... I don't want to go searching for more options. But yeah, thanks so much, guys. I really had fun doing this. Let me know if you like this, and I'll talk to you later. So what did you guys think? Did you like this type of review? Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Overall, I really liked the lipsticks. I feel like the mattes were not too drying, but they were creamy when you applied it and not as drying as other mattes. This shimmery one has definitely grown on me. So overall, I really liked the lipsticks. I especially like that the little kit and uh, yeah so uh, I, this is how I changed it into a bum bag here are little details right now on the zipper there's a little Dior right there and in the front there's a shiny silver Dior what I did was the kit comes like this and all you have to do is excuse me just take out this inside part you just take out this part right here and it has a lipstick initially there's nothing right here but these are the little prongs that they put in so in the back my cobbler ordered some leather pieces and he didn't do such a good job it's a little crooked I just found them here in Denver and then he put the little um, rivets inside and then inside as well and he should have took off the sticker and when he put the rivets in but I'll remove that eventually so you can either, you know, put the rivets in or you can sew it. People have asked me already on Instagram if this bag would be functional. And just keep in mind that the zipper is on the bottom. So it's not necessarily the most functional, but it is, you know, very cute. It's aesthetically pleasing. So it's really cute and stylish. And, you know, you can wear it as a belt bag when you are going out on a date and you're not planning on pulling out your wallet hopefully or you could be paying but like times that you don't want to need to you don't need to pull out your wallet so often or lipstick uh, maybe a night where you don't need your hands and you want to go dancing salsa dancing or any kind of dancing you just have this securely around your waist and you don't have to take anything out really so the, that's my answer to those questions and right now I'm going to insert some modeling footage of how I wear this bum bag. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like videos like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful 
Christmas and also a happy New Year's and happy holidays. I love you guys very much and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.